Hello and welcome to ABIQ's The Week That Was, July 31st, 2020. Central Africa Cameroon automobile industry company has started with construction on a car assembly plant in Douala. The facility will assemble private and commercial vehicles for the domestic market. The plant will be commissioned in 2021. In Gabon, Orenka will acquire stakes in seven oil fields and the Cap Clopez oil terminal from Total Gabon for an approximate $290 to $350 million. East Africa Ethiopia has vaccinated close to 15 million children against measles during a nationwide vaccination drive over the last two weeks. The Ethiopian government has unveiled a locally assembled electric car by Marathon Motor, a joint venture company between Hyundai from South Korea and Marathon runner Ayo Gabrilasi. Kenya has opened up to international airlines to resume flights this week. Total has announced that it expects to start gas exports from its LNG plant in Mozambique by 2024. Madagascar received an additional $171 million from the IMF as part of its rapid credit facility. Funds will be used in the country's fight against COVID-19 and it's a second disbursement so far this year. It brings the total to $337 million. Somalia has received $25 million grant from the African Development Bank. Total Uganda has issued tenders for a large-scale oil shore oil project in the country. The Ugandan government received a grant of 85 million euros from the German government. The grant will be used towards various projects over the next two years and will include developing Uganda's renewable energy sector, agriculture, rural development, as well as governance and human rights. Northern Africa. In Egypt, Total, along with its partners BP and ENI, announced it has made a significant gas discovery at an offshore well in the Mediterranean. The Arab Monetary Fund signed a $649 million loan agreement with Egypt. Funds will be used to support reforms in the public finance sector amid the coronavirus pandemic. Morocco's king announced a $12.8 billion planned stimulus to aid the country's recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. Tunisia's interior minister was appointed as the new prime minister. Southern Africa. Cabaron, Botswana's capital, reinstated a two-week lockdown to curb the second wave of the coronavirus. Eswatini received an emergency loan from the IMF to the value of $110 million. The city received $49.1 million in emergency loans from the IMF in support of its fight against COVID-19 pandemic. Namibia approached the IMF for a $272 million loan to help in its fight against COVID-19. The IMF has approved South Africa's request for $4.3 billion in loans to support its fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. Western Africa $53 million was approved by the African Development Bank as a grant to the Gambia, Liberia and Sierra Leone in support of measures against COVID-19. In Ghana President Akufo Addo has attended a groundbreaking ceremony on a $49 million Domongo water project. Ghana's Comenda Sugar Refinery raised investment from Agrotech to the value of $21 million. The African Development Bank has approved $69 million grant to Ghana to support its COVID-19 response plan. The World Bank approved a total of $300 million in credits and grants to support reforms that will help promote electricity trade in West Africa. Nigeria's oil minister indicated that the country will comply with the 1.4 million barrel per day OPEC output quota. Thank you for watching ABIQ's The Week That Was. I hope to see you back next week. Good day.